Hey y'all, it's Faye with Lost and Wandering. This is like the seventh time I've tried to do this video tonight. I keep going off on these tangents and it's not going to stay under the amount of time of 15 minutes if I do it this way. That way. Sorry. Um. Anyways, this is my second installment in the YouTube Pagan Challenge and week two's topic is are you in or out of the broom closet? Um, I'm going to start off by saying that for me personally, I don't think I'll ever be out of the broom closet 100% and most of the reason um, is because of the way that I define in or out of the broom closet. The broom closet is a safe place where like nobody knows anything. Um, being completely out of the broom closet means everybody in your life may or may not know or else it just doesn't matter enough for them to know. Um, and I'm going to say that I'm kind of in the broom closet in circum certain circumstances. Um, as far as work goes, I will never be out of the broom closet unless, like, I somehow, um, I don't know, sell, like, a best-selling novel and become a best-selling novelist, I guess, and end up making, like, lots and lots of money to the point where, like, I'm just creative enough that, like, my religious affiliations and whatever have, like, no effect on whether or not I make money. Um, if I were to go into work as a witch or a psychic or, or a reader or something like that, um, I would probably consider myself more out of the broom closet than I do at this moment, but working in the Medicaid billing industry or whatever, I don't feel that way. Um, I don't feel comfortable in like a an office environment um, working with other people where regardless of whether or not um, the corporate rules state that they can't fire me on the basis of my religion or whatever, regardless of whether or not it says that, they can um, fire me for literally anything else and it could be because they just don't like what I believe and maybe that's close-minded of me but honestly I'd rather be safe than sorry so um as far as my family goes um my immediate family knows like my sisters know my parents know um, for the most part, we just don't talk about it. Like, my, my older sister Ashley and I are actually kind of, sort of, in the same boat. I don't know exactly how she defines her spirituality. Um, she's kind of very nature-centric, and if you were to ask her, she would call herself a fairy, and she would say, I'm a fairy because I don't like the word witch because it has a negative connotation. So, I would say that she's a witch, but she would say she's a fairy. So, I don't know. I don't know where she lies in that, she, um, but quite frankly, like, she's more business-oriented than she is spiritually-oriented, and, you know, more power to her. Like, I'm glad that she's got some direction. My direction is in the direction of spirituality, I guess. Um, anywho... Um, my younger, my younger sister, uh, Mage, she is totally fine with it. Every now and then she, like, goes to, like, some hippie store and she gets, like, rocks or something and she'll bring them to me. Like, she gave me a tiger's eye, um, gem, um, and, uh... I think she's gotten me a few dream catchers or whatever. She's also made a few of the things that I use in my uh, practice because she's an artist and she made some like pottery and stuff. Um, so I have a few of her things around here that I personally feel like add to the um, general kind of aesthetic or whatever, or the energy that I'm trying to like culminate in a space that I consider my sacred space. Or, or else um, adds to whatever ritual or whatever I end up doing. And then my other two sisters are pretty, like, hands-off. They're kind of like, well, if it makes you happy, okay, bye. That's kind of really how they feel about it. Um, my mom and dad 
I personally feel like this is kind of something that they are like um, not happy about it but I hope that you come to your senses in the end kind of thing like my dad's kind of like um, well look you're an adult and you're gonna make your own decisions and it's up to you and I've done everything that I can and I love you regardless and let's just not talk about it although I do feel like if we were to talk about it it would go better than it would with my mom my mom specifically like I think sometimes she feels like I'm baiting her um, but the, the, the thing is that my my mother is very spiritual and I am very spiritual but my personal problem is that I feel like she devalues my spirituality she try to be kind of open with about it because I'm I don't know why I'm not trying to like cause an argument or whatever but I'm just like hey I got this new thing and it makes me happy kind of thing or hey I got I'm getting up at like five o'clock in the morning to do my own personal Bible study as well like and I think that in a way I'm just kind of trying to acclimate her to it and like have her realize how valid and and genuine my beliefs are and the only reason that that's important to me is because it's important to her that I know apparently um, she talks to me constantly about Jesus and and everything and um, I don't feel like I can talk to her I feel like it's not really kind of like reciprocal or whatever um, so there's like a little bit of tension there but for the most part I think that she kind of tries to respect where I'm coming from and I try to respect where she's coming from in a very like hands-off let, let's not talk about it it's gonna be the elephant in the room and we're just going to pretend it's not there kind of thing and if she thinks I don't feel attention she's wrong then as far as like friends go um, all of my friends kind of know um, but it's not like important you know it's not like I don't know so like but they'll like do kind of cool things with me like my friend um, she, I was cleaning her house because she was about to have a baby and so I was like I'm gonna make sure that your house is clean so that when you come home or whatever it's not like to a very like messy house and I want to kind of like make sure that you're coming home to a very like kind of not necessarily zen but just not a mess so that you don't feel like extra stress on top of everything um, so I was cleaning her house and, and I was like hey so like what things are important to you what things do you want to get rid of what things do you want to throw away blah 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 where do you want this box blah 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 so she um she had this box that she got from like I guess her bank or something it says like something national bank on like a little tile or whatever or a plaque or whatever on it but it's a really pretty box it's like I don't know whatever she was like do you want this I thought that maybe you could use it for like your incenses or something so that's kind of cool like I kind of make a point to surround myself with people that are pretty open-minded and um, not that like we have to talk about it all the time or we have to agree on everything all the time because I certainly like have lots of friends who are much more conservative than I am and I have friends that are much more liberal than I am in ways that like if we were to bring it up and I w and we were lesser people it would cause a problem but to like it doesn't add or take away anything from the relationship is, I guess what I'm trying to say so to answer the question no I'm not out of the broom closet but I'm not really in it either so that's really all I've got for you guys thank you so much for one uh, for ugh. thank you so much for watching me keep on wandering I love you guys so much bye <laughs>